This video is a few tips and tricks to help you out with your general web design. On here on Bootstrap Studio, what I'm about to show you is uh, something called Find and Replace. So it's found and edit at the top there on the left hand side, Find and Replace. But I'm not going to do this video in Bootstrap Studio because most of this I've written in PHP. So um, I'm using Tweak Style for this. So here is a Bootstrap Studio website. It's a theme. And on here, you'll find that it's written very well with the slashes and everything in the right place. And uh, however, I'll put this try dot PHP. So, so find and replace is this is like a really good a good tip and it can save you so much time by going through your website to find out where the mistakes are on certain things and of course another tip when you're on a server local servers php servers i don't think work as good as they do when actually online and local host doesn't really it, it's valuable but it, it doesn't tell you the whole story so when I'm doing websites, I always have the website that people see, and I always have a backup one. In this case, it's called try.php. So <laughs> this helps you out so many times. You know, if you make a mistake on your main web page, then, you know, hours and hours of time doing it can be ruined, and also hours and hours of time of getting it back to where it was can be. But anyway, we're going to do this thing with edit on here and we're going to do the w3 validator and now i mean it's sometimes it's just like you know i mean people have different opinions about this but i still use it just to be correct i'm a bit of a perfectionist um when it's php there are going to be a few things that's different however this website that i did which is mine here um it's nearly finished, not quite, but nearly. And um, I need needs one or two things adding to it and taking away and all the rest of it. But this is me try.php. So it's almost identical to the to the index.php. So on here, on your w3.org validator, you just put in your web address and that checks it and sees the mistakes. So what we've got here, we've got, uh, what? Let's have a look, 26, 27, 30, 30, which is, it's not too bad. If you look on things like Amazon and that, and they'll have probably hundreds. So it doesn't mean that your, your website won't work, but it just, as I say, it for me, it just gives us a little bit extra. Um, I understand that you're probably never going to get them like sort of where there's no, not these days anyway, uh, where there's no like mistakes at all. But what you do is you just try and minimize them. So in this Bootstrap Studio, his, th this site was written a while ago, most of it. Um, I've put it up to date and things, but most of it was written in Bootstrap Studio. But as I say, a lot of it's PHP now, so it, you can't really do it in, um, in Bootstrap Studio as the as the editor anyway a lot of these are backward slashes so you see on here it's written in bootstrap studio backward slashes on the new one as i've just shown uh the template one the forward slashes now this means that things um the one browser that really is very pinicky about this is mozilla firefox um the others just let it go usually but Firefox doesn't like backward slashes. So what you do, you look on your uh, website, and what I, would, what I always do, because on, on your server you don't actually have any editing, or certainly not on mine. Um, so we go to this one here, which is the try.php, and we just select all, copy, and you put it into an editor. So now this is try.php on here, paste as normal. 
and that sort of that. So now what you do is find and so you will see that what what's intended to do is find all the the um, backslashes and change them to forward ones. So go to find, right, search for. So you go, you're going to find and then you're going to replace it. So you're searching for backward slashes. So you just put your backward slashes in from, and there you go. And you're going to replace it with a forward slash. So now all the uh, backslashes have been changed to forward slashes, so I shouldn't get as many um, problems with the validation there. So we'll try that then. So we just put a file, so we just save changes and right click, select all. copy and go back into this here and what we do want to do there is just paste so paste them back into the try.php so if you got any problems you, your index php is saved or your index html whatever it is it's saved because you're not touching that so we'll just refresh that go back to this um the checker Two U three check out so check that again. And if it's thirty then it hasn't refreshed properly. So let's go down and see where where we are now. Okay, so there now we've like knocked down four, that's twenty six. And I'm just sharing these tips and that because like so they are important. There's other things that's obviously wrong with the um with the page, but they're not errors where you know the the gonna stop the page from working. The I'll go through these by myself and I'll just check some of the things out which can be addressed. Uh things like where it's got label four equals and there's nothing actually in them. They don't like that either, but it's it's it isn't gonna do any problems because it's still Correct enough for the for the page to load, and uh, always remember if you're doing PHP and and JavaScript, but generally PHP where one dot, literally one dot, can knock the whole thing out where your web page doesn't load at all. And so again, I'll, I'll you know I stress this point that um, really have something that's uh, a backup file that's on the server where you know exactly what it's going to look like. Um, and then when you're happy with it, then you can like sort of put it into the index.php and that becomes the index.php and keep doing that to, you know, to where you're happy with everything that's going on. So thanks for watching these videos again and thanks for all the subscribers and the viewers and that that uh, I've had for uh, lately. It's uh, quite a lot or quite a lot for this channel. So thanks again.